Music streaming services are really into AI these days. How can we benefit as users? Your favorite podcasts in your native language, even with the cloned voice of the original host. New AI generated music or your very own AI DJ that caters to your taste. Spotify bets big on AI and others might follow. Spotify is rolling out a new podcast feature that clones and translates a host's voice, making the podcast available in other languages. When you say the word toxicity, how are you defining that? You're, you're saying like toxic chemicals, chemicals que introducimos en nuestras vidas, en nuestra piel, consumimos, inhalamos, tenemos a nuestro alrededor y que están en nuestros alimentos, etc. And with voice cloning tools now easily available, other streaming services or even creators themselves could soon follow this trend. And there's more to come. How will AI change the world of audio entertainment? Making podcasts more diverse. Getting fresh ideas listening to podcasts from, say, India, Nigeria or Brazil or listening to an English podcast in your language. AI translators used in streaming services will let us choose any podcast, really. Tools like Spotify's voice cloning want to make podcasts globally available and help break down language barriers. So far, Spotify's pilot only includes translation from English to Spanish, French and German. But more languages are likely to follow. Cloning the creator's original voice gives them the chance to reach a larger audience and we can still experience the podcast in an authentic way. What else can AI do for us? AI-generated music. AI-generated songs will become a thing on streaming platforms. On Spotify, AI songs will now be tolerated, as long as they don't use cloned voices of artists without their consent. Music platform Deezer, on the other hand, will not strictly remove music with cloned voices. Instead, they work towards a model that compensates the artists. For example, they are developing a system to tag music that has been generated by AI. This is meant to keep users and artists whose voices might have been cloned informed. In general, streaming platforms are still trying to find a way to deal with AI-generated music. Do you care if music is produced by an artist or an AI? As long as it's good? Many copyright questions regarding AI songs remain unanswered. Who owns this song? The creator? The company that developed the AI software? Or maybe the artist whose voice has been cloned? Nevertheless, AI content, be it podcasts or songs, exists on streaming services and is likely only going to increase. But who will help me separate the good stuff from the trash? AI as your personal DJ? SoundCloud has incorporated an AI service that listens to music and supposedly identifies the next hit single. It is meant to go through SoundCloud's massive library of amateur music and recommend what it thinks will be the new hit. It's doing that by looking for patterns and characteristics of songs that correlate with chart hits. Spotify has rolled out a new AI DJ this year. It curates music it thinks you like. These could be new releases matching things you've listened to or that one song you had on repeat for weeks in 2016. Okay, well, personalized playlists have existed before, but the AI DJ also provides you with facts about the music, artist or genre you're listening to, delivered by a synthetic voice. From this moment on, I'm going to be your own personal AI DJ on Spotify. Let's go. AI is here to stay. So do you think it's the right move for companies to embrace it or should they bet on human talent? Let us know.